Hey there, I'm Lindsay from hazelhaven.com and I help creative business owners learn how to use the tools they need to grow their business online. Um, I'm trying out this new tool called Loom. So this is kind of just an informal video, <laughs> but I really wanna share with you why I enjoy using Tailwind. Uh, Tailwind is a Pinterest scheduler and it's awesome because <laughs> it's just really, it's just really cool. It's grown my Pinterest account really fast. Um, it's super easy to use and it, you can try the free trial for like a hundred pins. So I think I used the free trial for maybe like two months before I bought the software. Um, and I love it. It's just great. But anyways, I'm going to show you real quick why I really like this tool. And so right now I'm in my, um, what's this called? I think it's just called schedule. So you can see your schedule. And then over here, you can see all the different things that I have scheduled for the time slots that I have in there. Now, I really need to go in and fill in all of these, and I'll probably do that later. But um, as you can see, though, I have 274 pins scheduled. So that's going to save me a ton of time. But my favorite thing about a tailwind is the fact that I can see if it's working or not working. So, so I can see if it's working or it's not working. And what's great is that look, it says uh, after receiving 125 pins this past week, I now have 12,083 total repins. And then it says, um, your pins have recently been gaining about 137 repins per week. Um, so that's crazy. So last week it says that it was a below average, which is totally fine. Like it's summer, you know, whatever. But what's really neat is look, in the past week, I've gained 21 followers. When I was using Board Booster or just pinning on my own, I never really saw that many followers come in that fast. So I'm really, really excited about that. And then it also tells you, you know, like if you've had comments or anything like that. Um, <laughs> this is really funny to me over here. Um, it's just this little bit emoji of a little <laughs> lip icon. Um, I sell lip scents um, just kind of like at my side hustle because I really like lipstick and makeup. But... <laughs> It says that you know that board's one of my most repin boards, so that cracks me up a little bit. But anyway, so when you're in here, and if you want to go a little bit more in depth and see where things are going, you can click this little mountain thing up here. <laughs> and then you can see all of these other statistics, which is super helpful. So again, this is just from last week. This isn't, you know, from like a month or anything. This is just last week and you can see, oh, it's gradually getting better. So that's good. Um, and then you can look at your engagement and you can look at your, you know, another engagement rate and how things are, you know, if they're going viral or not and how well they're doing. So it's just a really cool thing to come in here and just see if it's working or not. Cause you know, how many times have you used a tool and then wondered, is this working? <laughs> I don't know if it's working or not, you know, and I don't know, this is just a great thing. Okay. So another thing that I like about Tailwind are Tailwind tribes. So a Tailwind tribe is some, it's this little one that looks like little three people next to it. So a Tailwind tribe would be similar to like a group board on Pinterest. But what's better about a Tailwind tribe is that you have more reach and you can be in there with um, other people and <laughs> obviously be in there with other people. But what's really cool is that you can come up here and see right here, it will give you stats on those pins. So you can see that this pin I know this is Maria's. Uh, she it already has 100 and 
91 repins, so it's popular. And then you can see where it's popular. But what's neat is that you can come in here and you can use a board list, which I'll share right after this. And then this one pin will go to like all your different group boards and all your different boards and everything in just one click. So you don't have to spend all day on Pinterest scheduling all these pins. So um, what's also neat, I'm gonna go to another board because it'll be easier to show you what I mean. So this is uh, another board that I'm on. Um, and what's really cool about this board is that, um, look, <laughs> the reach is 2.4 million. So that means that with everybody that's on this uh, Tailwind tribe, it, that's all of their follower count added together <laughs> and you get a 2.4 million reach. So if somebody pins my board off of this tribe, I'm able to reach 2.4 million people which is huge that's huge because then you know when you get more repins that's more people going to your website that's more people you know getting that brand awareness of who you are and what you're doing and it's just awesome so i'll put i have a tailwind tribe i'll put the link below that i'll put some of these tailwind tribes below this too because i mean why not the more the merrier and um now i'm going to show you board lists Okay, so I think it's in publish. Yeah, board lists. So what's really neat about board lists. So what's really neat about board lists is that you can add all of your different boards that are within a category. And then when you go to schedule a pin within Tailwind, it will you can put in just that instead of putting all of those group boards in there every time you can just put business to or blog to or whatever you have your board list named as and then you can set an <laughs> i guess i'll show that too you can set an interval and it will post everything within you know like one day or two days or you know something like that and then you can have a better understanding about it's not really a better understanding you'll just know that like instead of spamming all of your pins to all of those boards at the same time it will go to one board at you know when you schedule it and then it will wait a day or you know two days or however long you set the interval and then it will post that same pin to that other board and so on. There are lots of different ways that you can do this, but that that's probably the easiest way that I understand it, but it works, it's working for me, so hopefully it will work for you too. And so I'm gonna go back to um, publish. Okay, I'm in publish. I'm gonna go to scheduled pins, and I'm just gonna show you real quick what I meant Okay, so all right, so I went over to tail I went over to Tailwind. Oh, sorry, I went over to Pinterest to show you how to pin a pin with Tailwind. So what you want to do is you want to download this Tailwind extension, and then when you hover over things, you'll see the little Tailwind icon come up. So I'm just gonna show you on this one real quick. I'm gonna click that. It's gonna bring up this box. And hopefully you can see the screen. And then right here, what I'm gonna do is, that, okay, so it says how to use Tailwind for your blog. So for my blog list, I'm gonna use blog two. Hit enter. And look, it put all of these in here for me. 
So if I wanted to use another one, like since it says it's for Tailwind, I know that I have a Pinterest board. I can just add it to there and hit enter and that's there. And then another, <laughs> this is a fun little trick that I've been trying out. I've been clicking this, uh, the Twitter icon, and then I'll put in here, like see where it says Tailwind? I will tag Tailwind and then, um, or it's just like at Tailwind because I know that's how it is. And then let's move my face over here. Um, okay, so it's from you, baby, you baby me, mummy. Um, I could even look up her Twitter account and put it in there as well. Um, but right here, I'm gonna hit use interval. And this is what I was talking about. So you can choose your interval. Uh, it looks like right now I have it set up for um, one day and 10 hours. So I'll probably just leave that how it is. And then I go back and forth between optimized and open time slots. And then I just say set interval and then you click schedule now. So when you start scheduling, Okay, sorry. Let me move my head around if I can. Uh, so what's really cool about this is that, yes, you have to spend the time scheduling, but if you're, you know, just kicking it on the couch or <laughs> something like that, you can just go through and, you know, schedule some stuff while you're just hanging out. Um, or what I like to do is I just like to dedicate maybe like 20 minutes or 30 minutes one day a week and just schedule everything out so that it just runs automatically and then I don't have to worry about it. But, but yeah, so that was just kind of a quick little informal video about Tailwind. Um, hopefully that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, just pop them below. And again, I'll put, um, I will put my Tailwind referral code so that you can try it out for free. Um, I think it's like your first 100 pins are free. So it depends, you know, if you're only pinning like five or 10 pins a day, you can extend that free trial out for a while. But if you're gonna be pinning like 30 to 50 pins a day, you know, that's really not gonna last as long. But Tailwind is a great tool. Like I said, it's helped me so much just with growing my Pinterest account and giving more referrals and you know growth back to my website and um yeah and then i'll put my tailwind tribe link and some of those other tribes below as well as my free community creative biz haven on facebook so i hope you're having a good day thanks so much for watching and i will see you later